jugglers, you just want me to do the one thing? No jugglers, just do a hitchhiker. At least we can get one. You're about to fall every second, and then you stop yourself from falling. And that's the only reason why the, the trick stays going, is because you don't fall. For a very long time, you can feel like you're not even close to doing it, or completing the trick at all. And all of a sudden, it just comes together. Poor group of, of kids that I grew up riding with are still doing it. Like in the whole East Coast, there's probably 200 riders. And like some of them are like me, who've been doing it for a long time. So it's not a, a lot of people at all. It takes a lot of repetition, so um, the building block tricks, like um, a nose wheelie or just a wheelie on the pegs, can take years to learn. It's very easy to get pulled away from it because it's so much easier to do jumps or to do ramps. This one uh, rider, or Flatlander, Kevin Jones, he made up a bunch of the like building block tricks that we do now. He came up with like 20 tricks and now the new tricks are really putting those 20 tricks together. The people I knew that were pro level riders didn't do anything else. It was literally sun up till sundown riding. And then when your body's hurt, you just rest until it works again and then you just do it again. So we, we over inflate our tires so that there's less resistance in the tricks. So you can roll longer. Um, also, if you're heavier, like Sean here, I'm not pointing any fingers, um, you'll go longer. So when I go down to 115 PSI, I, it's a noticeable difference. I mean, in America, it's not very popular because I don't think a lot of people value that type of exercise. So like being really, really dedicated to something that you can't see any results at for a long time. Japan, especially, um, and then some European cultures, it, it's um, a lot bigger. In Japan, they actually have freestyle classes or flatland classes for kids. I mean, it's expensive too, so buying bikes is really, you know, pricey. To get a to have a good bike is 800 bucks. You have to know how to build it. You can't just buy something and have it be right. You have to set it up like a special way. So they'll make flatland frames. So you have to build it up to make it a flatland bike. So you have to put all the parts on it um, and kind of modify it to your own riding style. There's something really, really rewarding about trying something for a very long time and not being anywhere near to it, and then all of a sudden doing it. Ha, 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 ha.